For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohoo! A hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hey, all. Welcome back to the Real Life Pharmacology Podcast. I'm your host, pharmacist Eric Christensen, and I thank you so much for listening today. Go check out our free PDF. It is a top 200 study guide at reallifepharmacology.com. I get that simply for uh, subscribing. So again, definitely go check that out. Absolutely uh, free to you. Great little review uh, if you're out in practice or if you're gearing up for any uh, board exams in pharmacy school, nursing school, med school, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, go take advantage of that free resource. All right, so let's get into the drug of the day today, and that is eumeclidinium. Brand name of this medication is Incruz Ellipta. And the first point I wanted to make is I have seen people goof up with Ellipta. So Ellipta is actually part of the brand name, but it is actually refers to the device or the inhaler delivery system uh, that the medication utilizes. So there's lots of different drugs with the ending Ellipta. So when you go talk to somebody and say, hey, they're taking Ellipta, well, that could mean a bunch of different drugs potentially. Um, And it's just referring to that inhaler delivery system. Whereas Incruz is more specific uh, as far as the brand name goes to the generic name of umacladinium. All right, so this drug is a long-acting anti-muscarinic agent, uh, also referred to as LAMA therapy, so L-A-M-A. And this is primarily going to be used in COPD. So how does this medication work? Well, it blocks acetylcholine's action at muscarinic type 3 receptors. And by blocking acetylcholine's action, uh, it's going to ultimately cause uh, smooth muscle relaxation, uh, specifically bronchial smooth muscle relaxation, which in the end opens up the airway and helps patients with COPD breathe better. Uh, Another thing to note uh, with this medication, it is a long-acting anti-muscarinic agent, and it is not intended for acute relief of respiratory distress, okay? That's a really important patient education point. Uh, A lot of times healthcare professionals know this, and they know it's not supposed to be used kind of as needed, that type of thing, but oftentimes uh, patients do get confused, and I've seen that in practice between what's actually supposed to be kind of maintenance therapy versus what actually acutely relieves symptoms, uh, umacladinium also comes in other combinations. Uh, I covered Trelegy, I believe, before, uh, and that's a combination of llama therapy with a long-acting beta agonist with an inhaled corticosteroid, so kind of triple therapy there. So uh, it comes in a, in a few other products as well, so be sure to definitely pay attention to that. Now, where is this medication utilized? I mentioned it's used for COPD. Uh, The gold guidelines are generally the standard that uh, we most often use as far as uh, COPD guidelines. And I've got a great uh, free resource uh, from pearls.com and you can find that in the uh, show notes if you go to reallifepharmacology.com and go to the uh, umacladinium episode. Uh, You'll definitely find that image of kind of 
ABCD classification and, and what the medications used are there. Uh, and Pearls.com was nice enough to be able to share uh, part of their resource, uh, an image of part of their resource, so you can see that. Uh, they also have uh, other things as well associated with that PDF, uh, which you can get absolutely for free by uh, signing up for their free account uh, at pearls.com, P-Y-R-L-S dot com slash R-L-P, like Real Life Pharmacology. Uh, again, I'll put that in the, the show notes uh, on the Real Life Pharmacology dot com uh, page for the Umaclidinium podcast episode. Uh, other things to note with the uh, kind of device dosage form itself, it is a dry powder inhalation, once daily dosing 62.5 micrograms. With dry powder inhalation, we do not need to shake it. Most people think of an inhaler, uh, you think it may be your standard albuterol inhaler and you, you might need to shake it, that type of thing. Uh, with dry powder inhalation, like umaclidinium in this case, uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, the device itself has a uh, counter on it, so that's important to note. You can point that out to patients to make sure they know when to call in for a refill and that they don't uh, run out and get to a pinch that way. Also, the the door, uh, I guess the, the cover uh, for the inhaler, uh, so when that cover is opened, that basically... Uh, readies the dose to be taken. So if patients aren't going to be taking a dose, they shouldn't be flipping that cover uh, open and close. And I have seen that in practice too, where patient was just a, you know, like a little nervous twitch or something. They were hanging onto it and they were uh, actually kind of opening and closing it and it was clicking. And that's indicating that you're uh, readying the next dose. And so essentially they wasted a bunch of doses. So uh, make sure patients are educated on that, not to uh, open the inhaler cover unless they are ready to actually uh, take the dose. Monitoring parameters, uh, you're going to do your pulmonary uh, function testing typically. So uh, values associated with that and, and what you know patients and providers often monitor. So FEV1, peak flow, uh, basically measurements of that respiratory status and how well a patient is breathing. Because obviously we want to try to minimize COPD exacerbations in patients going to the hospital. All right, let's talk about adverse effects here briefly. Uh, overall, generally pretty well tolerated uh, in my experience. Uh, primarily, uh, patients have had, uh, you know, respiratory irritation, runny nose, cough, things like that. You can think about inhaling a dry powder and it, you know, might cause some irritation in some patients. Um, so kind of gauging the severity of that and, you know, how bad it is for the patient, uh, that's something to kind of ask them as they get using the medication and make sure they're doing okay with it. But most patients, um, at least kind of get used to that and it's, uh, generally not terribly irritating for them to stop the medication. Now this medication is anticholinergic as it implies in the name and mechanism of action, uh, Adverse effects from anticholinergic medications, dry mouth, urinary retention, constipation, uh, all these things are possible uh, with umaclidinium, uh, but typically we're not going to get a significant amount of systemic absorption. So generally, uh, those adverse effects aren't too big of a deal in patients. Uh, one note, patients with specific allergies, uh, to milk protein, uh, particularly if this allergy is severe, uh, use is contraindicated with this medication. All right, let's take a quick break from our sponsor and we'll wrap up with drug interactions. If you're in the market for pharmacist board certification study material like BCPS, ambulatory care, BCMTMS, geriatrics, psychiatric exam, uh, go check out meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. Uh, in addition, if you're a pharmacy student, we've got NAPLEX content there. Uh, if you're a nurse, dietitian, med student, PA, uh, nurse practitioner, we've got all sorts of other resources as well. Uh, Amazon books on case studies, drug interactions, all that good stuff. So go check that out, support the sponsor, uh, and that's all at meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. All right, so wrapping up with drug interactions. I don't 
feel terribly strongly uh, and a high level of concern when I see uh, umacladinium used or many of the other respiratory uh, inhaled medications as far as drug interactions go. Um, but I do think you, you need to be aware of some. And, and first, let's start with the mechanism of action. We've got that anticholinergic activity. So if systemic absorption is enough um, or they're potentially taking it with other anticholinergic medications, we could have some additive effects. So your classic anticholinergics are you know, older first-generation antihistamines, uh, you know, diphenhydramine, hydroxazine, uh, tricyclic antidepressants, um, some of the antispa- GI antispasmodics, uh, some of the older uh, urinary medications uh, like oxybutynin, for example. So additive anticholinergic effects can happen. So your constipation, your dry eyes, dry mouth, so on and so forth. Again, not incredibly common just because uh, our systemic absorption is uh, low to minimal with umacladinium. Uh, another thing you want to think of uh, with that anticholinergic activity as well is dementia medications could potentially blunt or oppose the, any potential benefit from a drug like uh, Dinepazil or brand name Aricept there. So that's really uh, the primary things to think about with drug interactions. Again, isn't crazy common, not something I'm incredibly worried about. Um, but just wanted to make sure to, to pay attention to that. It is considered an anticholinergic medication and could have some of those drug interactions. And if you want a, more on anticholinergic drug interactions, uh, go check out some of my previous episodes on uh, tricyclic antidepressants, diphenhydramine, uh, antihistamines, things like that. Uh, and you'll get a good sense. Uh, I go in a little more detail in some of those as far as those anticholinergic uh, drug interactions. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap up the podcast for today. I hope you picked up some clinical practice pearls. Uh, Go check out reallifepharmacology.com. Get that free top 200 PDF. It's a 31-page PDF, absolutely free, simply for subscribing to the podcast on the website. Uh, If you enjoyed this episode, share us with friends, colleagues, help us grow this podcast, educate more folks about pharmacology. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, Eric Christensen, PharmD, BCPS, BCGP, uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or mededucation101 at gmail.com. And lastly, if you enjoyed this episode, leave us a rating review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, the comments definitely uh, help encourage me to keep going and trying to share uh, what I learn out in clinical practice. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Grainger.com, or just stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.